today. I, yeah, I've been feeling a little uncentered, <laughs> ungrounded maybe. I would say uncentered. I haven't been, my focus hasn't been where I've wanted it to be, I think. We're gonna just recenter everything in my life. We're gonna have a nice little day. I'm gonna do some things that make me feel good. Get any small tasks out of the way that I have wanted to get done. I might do a little sunset surf sesh later. But I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now. I don't have coffee. I don't have eggs. I don't have anything to get my day started. So that has to happen right now. I wanna take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers online customized therapy. It's Better H-E-L-P. They will match you with a licensed therapist within 48 hours. It's a really great way if you're looking to get started with therapy right away. If you don't necessarily gel with your therapist right away, you can always switch, which I think is really important when it comes to therapy, is just finding the right one for you. And they make it just really easy to connect. You can talk via phone, video, um, message, and it's definitely more affordable than traditional therapy, which is a great way to make it more accessible to everyone. In this video, I'm talking more about like these routines and habits that I have found to be helpful in recentering myself, but something that I feel like has allowed me to get to this place to be able to find those things for myself has been being in therapy for two years. Yeah, and it's just been such a like crucial part of my mental health journey. So I'm a big, big fan myself, and they just make it really easy to start your journey in therapy. And personally, I like communicating via online versus like having to stop your day and go all the way to therapy and then like it just takes up less time um, and less energy and I think it just is an easier way to like slip it into your schedule. If you feel called to check them out, you can go to betterhelp.com backslash where I live to get 10% off of your first month. So definitely do that if you're feeling like it could be helpful for you. so far it's been chill which is good like got just organizational stuff done for work um, and now in just a bit my friend Tori is about to come pick me up and we're gonna go surfing and drive to Malibu which has been so fun lately watching the sunset while you're surfing is like honestly one of my top five like favorite feelings ever it's so beautiful and so cool being out in the water and there's pelicans feeding, and sometimes you'll see sea lions and dolphins. I've seen whales. It's just so, it's so nice. I'll be a good way to end the day. And it's just like a very cleansing way to end the day. Practice makes perfect. I thought I was gonna take like a nice little 
rose Epsom salt bath. But I honestly feel waterlogged and I'm like, I don't wanna be sitting in any more water. So I'm gonna take a shower and then watch a movie. Probably a movie. myself earlier that I thought ahead and I was like I have been wanting like a nice little treat at night this chocolate expensive but is insanely good probably my favorite chocolate of all time proud of myself for getting myself this so that I am happy right now I don't know if you guys noticed but this morning I meditated and I just want to say that I have been meditating every morning sometimes also at night 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes at night for the past few days because the other day I had this realization that I have 100% had before but every time I realize it again it like scares me like legitimately scares me it's an ex small crisis of no matter what until you die and maybe not even after then can you get away from yourself <laughs> like every moment of every day you're spending with yourself and when you start to like separate you're like I and me like I'm talking about myself but there's like two of me within my version of myself I'll just never get away from her and I'll never get away from my own thoughts and even when you're sleeping I was like well when you're asleep I guess that's a break but even when I'm asleep I'm having very intense like dreams about my life it's almost, it was almost like a claustrophobic I didn't get scared I felt claustrophobic for like this small fraction of a second of like oh my god like I almost want to like run away from me like and I like I like hanging out with me I spent a lot of time learning to like hanging out with myself but kind of crazy I mean consciousness yeah I guess I could read books about that but anyhow I started meditating now I've meditated consecutively for a handful of days which is more than I ever really ever do so kudos to me leaving you on that thought I'm gonna watch the new selling sunset which even for me is almost like too bad of TV to be honest, I feel sick to my stomach, but it's interesting to see the mansions that people live in. And also I'm messed up. I was really messed up. It's like LA, the separation of wealth is so insane. I'm watching Selling Sunset. You, I'm like, now that I live here and I'm watching it, it's like so much more, even more appalling and disgusting of just like driving by houseless people and then having people that are spending literally 20 million dollars on a house so sad it's kind of mind-boggling it really is where i'm like do like how do you just blow that much money on a piece of property how do you just have that much money i don't know that's also mind baffling i'll never i'll never learn the answer to that either i don't know anyhow those are my bedtime thoughts spin class so now I'm running behind because I was feeling a little bit 
tired this morning. Thought about the feeling of what it'll feel like if I miss it, and then afterwards I'll be like, oh, I wish I went. So, we might be a little bit late. Okay, I'm putting tinted sunscreen. Okay, so I've been wanting to set up my pantry and I was looking at like nice little glass jars at places and they were all just really expensive for jars and like I would wait and collect jars but that just is gonna take so long and in the meantime there's like rice flying everywhere from like buying in bulk. Um, so <laughs> I went on to Uline and I ordered glass jars in bulk <laughs> and bringing these in here I'm like, oh, I'm not sure the quantity like i'm not sure if i just ordered so many glass jars that are gonna be like swimming my kitchen might be swimming in them but let's see but this is a perfect little reset routine getting my kitchen all set up styrofoam man so disappointing yes okay ordered little jars for my spices i think this will be nice the minimum amount you could get was 24 but i think that will be very doable. <laughs> if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I'm just like, like I love jars. Like I buy things for the jar all the time. These are beautiful. A 16 ounce amber glass jar. Ooh, when I write on that little label, it's gonna look so nice in here. That's beautiful. I'm not mad at this. I just wanna, I wanna drink out of this. Okay, I did, okay, no, no, no. The 32 ounce jars, also great. These are great for storage. I feel like these are the exact ones you buy at bulk stores and they're like $6 for this glass. And I'm like, no. Next one. A lower 16 ounce. These are also really good for leftovers. Like now I'll have enough little leftover containers as well because I didn't have enough um, Tupperware. So this is nice. That's ones I bought for making kombucha. Yeah, so bigger size, 32 ounce jar of this one. <laughs> so many jars. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot, but I do think I'll fill, I'll end up filling all of these and I wanted to just order them all at once so I didn't one, have to like waste shipping again and all these things like pay for them again and worry about it again. And I know over time as I like re-up on bulk stuff like rices and like whatever, I'll end up using probably all of these. So it looks like a lot right now, but even like all of this I have in here needs to go into jars. I'm gonna have to wash all of these by hand. Also just got my re-grocery order. I got a funnel, which will help us. I got these sesame teriyaki almonds. These are expensive, but I, they look so good. Can you see, you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is gonna be about to be a really satisfying task to put all these in jars. I don't know what it is about jars, but they make things feel so nice and like so organized and so put together. I finish all this, this is gonna take me like two hours probably to do all this, but very, very satisfying. Okay, and then next at the nursery, I got some herbs because I want to make like a little outside herb garden at the Rose Bowl. I got this giant, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, bowl and I'm going to put 
a few herbs in here to keep. Hopefully I keep them alive. I also am gonna repot or pot some new plants. done. I'm feeling from beginning to end of this vlog, I'm feeling much better actually. Got my kitchen all set up. I'm still working on transferring everything over. Plants, my little herb garden set up. The last two days have just been really nice. I feel like a really good combination of productive and also just enjoyable. So I would say a success overall. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out BetterHelp if that's something that speaks to you. And I will see you all very soon in the next one.